In this video, I'll be showing you a really easy procedural node setup to create a procedural scratches texture in Blender. So you could use this scratches texture for many different materials like a metal material, a wood material, or a plastic material. And if you'd like to create a procedural scratch plastic material with this node setup, then I'll be releasing this video soon on how to create a procedural scratch plastic material. You can find the link in the description to that video when it's released. So here I am in Blender, I just went to the shading workspace and I just added a smooth icosphere and then I also just added added a very basic lighting setup. And we're gonna start by searching for a magic texture. And let's hold down the control and shift key to preview the magic texture. With the magic texture selected, let's also press control T. That's using the feature of the node wrangler add-on. And I wanna put the object into the vector there, the mapping, so it's using the object coordinates. So the texture will be placed on the object more evenly. Now I do wanna change a few settings of the magic texture. So I'm gonna turn the depth up to five because I like how that looks, but you could play around with the different depth values. And then here on the scale, I'm gonna turn this to three and then also on the distortion, I'll turn this to three as well. So you can see by turning up the distortion value, it's gonna give the texture a lot more detail. Now you might be wondering how we can turn this into a scratches texture. Well, what we can do is make it more contrasty so we can only see some of these lines here. So what I'm gonna do is search for a color ramp and we'll put the color ramp after the magic texture. And then I'm gonna drag the white tab way over and drag the black tab over just a little bit. And so you can see by dragging them really close together over here on the side of the color ramp, you can only see a few of those values. So that's the base of the scratches texture. Now I do want to add a lot more detail to this because a lot of these scratches look really smooth and I want them to look a bit more rough and random. So I'm going to select the mapping and texture coordinate and bring them back. And what I can do is go to the add menu and search for a noise texture. And if we put the noise texture in between the mapping and magic, if we stick it right here, it's going to go through the vector. So that way the noise texture is going to distort the magic texture. Now let's change a few of the settings. So I'll turn the scale to like a two and I can also turn the detail up to like a 10. So it's more detail. So you can see by dragging that detail there, it's going to change the distortion of those scratches. But I also want a bit more control over how strong the noise texture is affecting the magic texture. So what I'm going to do is go to the add menu and search for a mix color. And we'll drop this between the noise and the magic. And we're going to take the vector and we're going to put that into color A from the mapping. And then we're going to take the noise factor and we're going to put that into color B. So now we have this factor which is going to drag between only using color A or only using color B. And color B is the noise. So it's distorted, but then color A is the mapping which isn't distorted. Now you can see the scratches are all moving around, so to make them not moving around so much, I can change the mix type here to linear light. Now when I drag the factor, it's going to distort the texture, but it's not going to move them around so much. So now if I just look here at one of the scratches, I can drag this value, and you can see it's going to distort it more or less. So I like turning this factor just to like maybe a 0.1, so now you can see here on the scratches, it's just a little bit distorted and a bit noisy. And so that is the base texture for the scratches, so now you can do many things with this. So for example, you could put the color into the normal and then you could search for a bump node to convert it to bump data. Stick that here. So the color can go into the height value and the bump can go into the normal. So now if I control shift select the principal shader to preview it, let's just like turn the base color down. And now you can see we have all those scratches there in the bump and you can adjust the strength with that. Another thing you could do is you could put it into the roughness. I'm going to put this into the roughness instead. And then I need to change the roughness values. And so to change the roughness values, you can make the texture lighter and darker. So what I'm going to do is click on the black tab and I can make the black tab lighter and that's going to make it more rough. But if I click on the white tab and make it darker, that's going to make it more shiny. And now you can see we kind of have like a plasticky material. Maybe I'll just like make the base color like a blue color or something. You can now see we have like a plastic material, but where the scratches are, they look a lot more rough. So that's another example of how you can use it. Another thing you could do is put the color ramp color into the base color. And then to add custom colors, you could search for a mix color node and put it between the color ramp and the base color, and you can put the color ramp into the factor. So now we have color A, and if I change color A, that's gonna be the scratches, so maybe I'll just make it like a black color or a dark gray. And then for color B, this is gonna be the rest of the material. So maybe I'll just make this again like a blue color, turn the roughness down. So now if I zoom in here, you can see just where the scratches are, that is gonna be color A, which is the dark color, and then color B is gonna be the rest of the material. And if you'd like to watch this tutorial on how to create a procedural scratch plastic, you can find that video link in the description when the tutorial is released. But I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching.